for those who don't know, Troy got a nice win this past Saturday on on ESPN Plus. Tricky opponent, right? Victor Tony was yeah. a tricky guy, uh, yeah. very defensive. Just assess your performance. How'd you feel in the fight, and what were maybe like some of the the, the lessons? Uh, I mean, honestly, uh, I came out. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to open him up a little bit, but probably by like the the third round, I realized that you know the guy had good defense. So you know, uh, I, I didn't really want to you know waste any shots. So you know, I had to be you know a little cautious and stuff like that. I got I tried to force it a little bit in the fourth round, and uh, he he caught me. Uh, he caught me. He caught me with a right hand, and you know it was it was a, it was a good punch, and he had a little bit of pop. And then, uh, but I felt like I like how I finished towards the end. I felt like I kind of caught his timing a little bit. Like probably if I had two more rounds, maybe it would, uh, you know, kind of start going my way a little bit, you know. But uh, I, I like how I finished. I liked it, you know. I, I just I was gonna say too. One of the first things I noticed was it looked like in the fifth round something really clicked, or so there was some kind of switch that flipped for you. Can you describe what that was? Well, I mean. Kind of, cause I just had to. I felt like because you know I'm I'm considered as a top prospect, and I got hit with that punch. I just had to, you know, had to, all right, you know, I had to, you know, step it up a little bit. You know, you feel me? I just, had, I just had to step it up a little bit, show show my class a little bit. You know, just show that I'm, you know, better than. What is that like when you're in with a guy that's that awkward and he's not really he's not willing to open himself up at all? What is that like? Yeah. Is it just like I just got to stay within myself and just keep executing? Yeah. Well, I mean, really, I was just like, uh, all right. I mean, I just gotta like, I gotta out punch this guy, but I can't like, I can't get too greedy. You feel I can't like get too greedy, but I gotta like, you know, I still gotta control. I gotta control the ring, you know, you know, I gotta control the ring and you know keep you know control the pace and not let you know not let him like you know get off and you know keep my head off the line. And it was tricky too, right? Because a lot of times, yeah. like awkward veteran type guys like that, they're more so awkward offensively, not so much yeah. defensively. Like you know what yeah. I mean? It's like guys that yeah. throw punches weird. He actually threw his punches kind of normal, but his whole defense yeah. was super awkward. Yeah, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he he was yeah. very much like he was willing to kind of just sit in this, yeah. you know. And he blocked a lot of my body shots, so like I wasn't really throwing a lot to the body this fight, but. It was because he was blocking a lot of them. He had good defense right there. And he was like, I mean, almost like the complete opposite of their last opponent, right? Uh, Dante uh, Dante Stubbs. Yeah, yeah. Dante was swinging for the fences. I knew Dante was going to be – he was strong, though. I knew he was going to be strong for, like, the first three, but I just knew I just had to keep breaking his body down, and eventually I'll – eventually, you know, I'll land a shot and it'll go. I, I felt like I could have got Dante out of there in the in the fourth. It was just ten seconds left, you know, when I dropped him. He's a, he's a tough guy, man. He's a he's a wide swinger. Um, one of the things I noticed that I wanted to to bring up to you, and and you could just speak on it, man. Obviously, everything that's going on with Brittany Griner, bro. I saw you wearing her jersey. Can you just speak on what compelled you to to do that? I mean, uh, I. I seen her at the Olympics. I didn't get a picture with her, but like you know, she was just she was cool. She, like it just she seemed cool. Like it just was. We was I was like right there next to her. I, I got the video on my Instagram. Uh, it's like pinned up there too. But uh, I don't know. I just felt bad. You know, she she stuck out there. You know, she played basketball. She was helping them out, and you know they just lock her up for that. You know for. You, I don't. I don't really get too much into it, like with, about marijuana, but I mean, it's. I guess it's legal in a few states, so I mean, it's not that bad. But it's just that you know that she stuck and she got nine years for that for something that's not even a violent crime. It's right. not like she blew the blew anything up or you know killed somebody. Is she, she? She didn't harm anybody. So you know, I just feel bad for her. That's all. It's a it's a really difficult situation, regardless about like the cannabis issue. Just the fact yeah, that you yeah, stuck out there yeah. for that long is fucking terrible. Yeah, it, 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 it's just the fact that it's nonviolent. For real, for real. It, it's 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 nonviolent. So it's like, why is she sitting nine years for something that's she that's not even you know harmful? For, that yeah, for, you know, it's just not violent. Yeah, that's all. It's horrible, bro. I just thought it was cool that you did that and that you kind of put yeah. on for that. I thought that was cool.